Explosions rang out in Russia's Nizhny Novgorod region, where the Savaslika military airfield is located, local authorities reported, adding that air defenses were activated in the area. Moments of the attack on the airbase were shared on telegram channels. The blows hit the place where the planes were parked. The images were taken and shared by the Russians. Airplanes are also visible in those images. Local media platforms say drones were spotted over the settlements of Valetma and Savaslika. According to open sources, a branch of the 4th State Center for Aviation Personnel Training and Military Tests of Russia's Ministry of Defense is based at the Savaslika airfield. According to local sources, there were at least 10 impacts at the Savaslika military air base. According to the Ukrainian Air Force, the air base is home to MiG-31K aircraft, which are carriers of the Kinzhal missiles used by Russia in its attacks on Ukraine. The Savaslika air base is located about 600 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. A fire near the Savaslika airfield in Russia after a drone strike was detected by a NASA satellite, the Russian service of Radio Liberty reported. Satellites detected fires on the ground near the Savaslika military airfield in the Nizhny Novgorod region, which was attacked by drones last night. The fact of the explosion on the territory of the airbase is confirmed by and the geolocation of one of the eyewitness videos. The attack on Kursk was the first step in the Putin regime's slide towards disaster. Russian political scientist Dmitry Oreshkin said this. The ideology of Putin's regime is, he is the only one who protects us. Now it is clear that he is only protecting himself and his political ambitions. The idea is already starting to take its place in the public opinion of Russia. Even the bloggers of the government ask, where are the troops of the CSTO? People were taught that we won the Second World War and will win again. In fact, it is not so, because the anti-Hitler coalition won the war, not us. There were 20 countries, including the United States, as members. Now, when it is not possible to win, public opinion is looking for a culprit, he said. According to Oreshki, the Russian state may face disaster. All generals see that Chechens do not fight. They run away, leaving the soldiers behind. Why? Because Ramzan Kadyrov protects them from participation in the post-Putin civil war. This is an indication of the beginning of the division of the territory of Russia. Putin will be gone someday, and these guys will stay and fight to make it clear who is the leader. The situation is similar to 1915 to 1916. Markus Faber, the head of the Bundestag's defense committee, said that Kursk operation showed that Russian leader Vladimir Putin has no control over anything and created a good basis for negotiations with his successor. According to him, the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces against the Russians near Kursk is going better than expected. This step shows the Russian people that their dictator does not control anything and the military leadership is unable to fulfill its duties. A good basis has been formed for peace negotiations with Putin's successor. Also, a basis has been formed for negotiations with Putin at the International Criminal Court. He noted that such an operation forces the Russians to withdraw a large number of troops from eastern Ukraine. It reduces tensions, so there is good reason to talk about Leopard 2 tanks. Our military aid to Ukraine is the best investment in our security. It reduces the potential of the Russian threat every day. Since the Ukrainian operation in Russia's Kursk region started, local residents and Russian soldiers stationed there have been willingly providing the OSINT community Inform Napalm with operational information about Ramzan Kadyrov's militants. The hostility of Kursk residents towards Kadyrov's forces is attributed to their abuse of civilians, while the conscripts suffer from the non-regulatory practices imposed by Kadyrov's militants. Inform Napalm relays all obtained intelligence to the Ukrainian Defense Forces and provides Russian conscripts with safe conditions for surrendering to Ukrainian forces. Inform Napalm's founder, Roman Burko, mentioned receiving dozens of messages from residents of the Kursk region who are in the combat zone. We are grateful to the residents of the Kursk region who risked their lives to provide information about Kadyrov's men and assist the Ukrainian armed forces in liberating the Kursk region from Kremlin occupation, emphasized Roman Burko. Swedish media site Dagens News 
has an explosive report out that Ukraine's recent invasion of Russia's Kursk Oblast may have been facilitated by treason of the Chechens, who were supposedly manning the border posts there and refused to fight against the Ukrainian invasion force. According to military bloggers known for their Z commentary, Kadyrov's Akhmat unit allegedly backstabbed Russian forces by deliberately avoiding confrontation with Ukrainian troops during an offensive in the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary who goes by the name Alex Parker has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. Russian military propagandists have expressed outrage, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia by orchestrating a secret non-aggression pact with Ukraine. This alleged treachery has fueled claims that Kadyrov's men abandoned their positions and avoided combat rather than defending the Russian frontier.